Karen Kiefer. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm director of education for Crosstex. One of the most important things you can do when using mail-in biological monitoring is that you're filling out the envelope completely and correctly. First thing that you'll see at the top of the envelope is that we're looking for the phone number that you registered the account with because we can cross-reference your account by simply using your phone number. The second one is your customer ID. The customer ID is going to be assigned to you after we receive your first mailed-in test. It's going to be two alpha characters followed by either three or four numeric characters. The next point that's important is the sterilizer number. Especially if your office has more than one sterilizer, it's important to associate the correct test with the test sterilizer. When you're looking for the sterilizer serial number, you're either going to look on the back of the unit or you're going to look on the front of the unit as you open the door, usually to the bottom right side. You'll see a metal tag. It's important that you keep this sterilizer number consistent each time that you send a test in. Because we're an FDA regulated facility, we have to enter the data exactly the way it's written on your test card. The next item is going to be the sterilizer brand, whether it's a Midmark, a Pelton Crane, a Cycan. The next is key. This is your test date. That's the date that you actually ran the test. We need to receive the test in the mail within a 30-day time frame after the test has been run. The next item is the type of sterilizer that you have, steam, chemical, or dry heat. We have to know which type of sterilizer that you have so that we incubate that test for the appropriate period of time. On the opposite side, you'll see that it says optional information. The optional information includes things like the model number, the operator initials and the test time, meaning how long was that particular cycle? Was it a 15 minute cycle? Was it a 30 minute cycle? Or on dry heats, was it a 120 minute cycle? The next point is the temperature. The temperature is one of the physical monitoring characteristics that you're going to look at from the sterilizer itself. Last but not least, if you're using a steam sterilizer, we're going to want to know the pressure, the PSI, the pounds per square inch, between 15 and 25 PSI. Last section, it says a new customer. If this is the first time that you've submitted a mail-in test to us, it's incredibly important that you fill out your office name, the address, including suite, if you have one, city, state, and zip code. Last, you're going to decide your preference of how we contact you by fax or by email. If you're choosing email, we ask that that address either be that of the practice owner or a generic practice address. Last but not least, you'll want to list the contact name. Know that if you have a failure, you're going to receive a confidential, complimentary consultative call from one of our customer care team that will review your results, and we can also go over the procedure that you'll need to review to find out if you had issues possibly with a human error, a procedural error, or an actual equipment failure. Thank you.